Greetings and salutations. So did you hear about the IG report that was released the other day? It's literally available right now for download. Hell, I even got a PDF version for my phone. Message. <laughs> Go read it. If not, you're probably watching news outlets right now and they're telling you that it's not important. Nothing to see here. FBI has been exonerated and the headline reads, no evidence that the Trump Russia investigation was politically motivated. LOL, Trump gets owned again. <laughs> well, unlike most of you cool people, this guy has no social life. So I actually did read the IG report and the media is lying to you. I mean, no surprise there. Just like they lied about the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, etc. But this one is more insidious. Because now I actually have to do something I hate doing. Something I never enjoyed. Because it kills my street cred. And it ostracizes me from my beloved family. I have to defend. I have to. I have to. I have to defend Donald Trump. Out of all the numerous lies he's peddled to the public in the past, he would choose this time to actually tell the freaking truth. Dang, Donald. He's like the little boy who cried deep state. So what actually happened? Well, it turns out that back in 2016, in a much simpler time, when my man's obesity was still running things, the Clinton campaign paid a lawyer slash FBI informant to dig up dirt on DJT. Unfortunately, everything they had tried had failed. So he created a salacious dossier to destroy Trump's chances at winning. This dossier referenced some pretty nefarious activities that implicated the current president in a hilariously outrageous allegation. Not to give too much away, but it did involve Trump's favorite color and showers. You could put the two and two together yourself. Anyway, it turns out after a bipartisan investigation, this entire story was proven false. And furthermore, it's completely made up by this lawyer that the DNC and the Clintons hired. But that's not the important part. The real crux of the issue is that the federal government used this completely fictitious allegation to grant a FISA warrant allowing the government to spy on the Trump campaign. So wait, you're telling me that the Democrats had the FBI, the CIA, and the entire government on their side and they still couldn't beat Trump? Is there any way I could get some of my tax money back? If I was this incompetent, they probably would have fired my black behind already. But why does this concern me? I'm sure you are wondering why you should care. Well, my apathetic viewer, if you didn't know, I am an African American man. We just uncovered that the government has secretly been spying on and attempting to frame the President of the United States just because they don't like the guy. Now imagine if he was just a regular minority citizen, minding their own business and the government decides to spot on all of your phone calls just because of a hunch. They start putting all everyone around you in prison and they label you as public enemy number one. How could you possibly defend yourself? Any defense will be turned against you in a court of law. <laughs> but there's no way that the government would ever spy on and frame any. Hey folks, this is KJ from Captain with the Crew, and I want to thank you for watching this video in its entirety. I'm clearly not a Trump supporter, but I'm not okay with the government spying on us and lying about it. Regardless who they do it to, it's not okay especially when it's not protecting the country. This just goes to show you that you shouldn't blindly trust everything the media says. Hell, don't blindly trust everything I say. I implore you to go do your own research and read these reports yourself. 
just to get a firm understanding of what's actually going on. It's our responsibility because it's our country. Thanks again. Love you.